Hello, this is Chris Rollins with bestwindowsmobileapps.com showing you around TouchTwit. It does take a moment or two to actually load. It's the first thing I always notice. Little loading screen. And there you have it. Nice and finger friendly. Brilliant smooth scrolling going through your uh, tweet feed then along the bottom there is uh, your mentions which yeah, brings them up sliding across the page will take you back like that um, update is for when you want to tweet and you have the option of an at reply adding a URL, your location or pictures and videos If you click on someone's picture, it brings up their profile. You have a whole list of options there, like um, uh, a reply towards them. You can also check out who they're following or who's following them, and a whole bunch of other things. Pressing home at any point will this lovely swiping animation taking you back to your tweet feed. Clicking on more brings up a whole bunch of more options as it, the name suggests, like taking you to your own profile, um, uploading pictures and videos, searching for numerous things like for users by their username you can also look at different trends, the current, daily or weekly. I never actually use it myself, but well, some people might find it handy. Another example of the uh, nice animation taking you back home. If you go down this list, then you can go to accounts, where you can add more than one account, which is a surprising feature, and then closing it. Now this is just to show how well it copes with um, changing orientation. If I bring out the keyboard on my Touch Pro 2, it just rotates automatically. close it again and it just flicks back. Wonderful. No problems at all.